Also a good day to be out on the trails. Snowmobiling is, in fact, pretty decent right now if you get out of town. That's what word is. It sure is. My um, husband went out yesterday, and he had a blast. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. We rode to um, Jackman on Thursday, and uh, we rode over to Rangeley and out that way yesterday. And it, you get out of town, and it's midwinter. It's really good. The groomers have done a fantastic job with what we've got. We have piston bullies, too. We do. We've yeah, got two. We have piston bullies, we've got two, too. We, we have two piston bullies. Yes, yeah, we do. They're good for everybody. Now, Polar Blast, we want to make a mention of the fact that sponsors are important. You're always looking for anybody who might want to they help are. contribute. We've got, uh, these will be all over town. This is the schedule for the, uh, for the event. And on the back, lists all of our wonderful sponsors. We couldn't do what we do without them. So uh, you see somebody on here you recognize, certainly uh, give them a, a nod and a thanks. Right. And it's... You don't have to be a snowmobile owner. Absolutely not. But even if you're skiing on the day on Saturday, you can still go up, take advantage of some of the fun activities that afternoon and into the evening. Into the evening, we were live entertainment at uh, most yeah. of the venues in town. and uh, Yeah, and like I said, Friday night fireworks. It's They're a big always draw. great. Everybody loves that. Yeah. Out in Eustis, that's such a magical place to do it, too, it is. isn't it? Yeah. It is. Like having fireworks in the woods. Right. But, uh, yeah, don't be shy if you're a snowmobiler and you're down south and you happen to see this broadcast, load your sled and come on up. It's, it's not the best riding you've ever had, but it's riding, and it mm -hmm. really is pretty good. Right. You're not going to wreck your sled. It's you not that not. thin. No. Right. No. And I think that's what makes people wary that, you know, it might be like what we call rock skiing. Right. Whether, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, I crossed over 1,000 miles this year so far, right. just yesterday. So there is, good riding. For you. there is riding out there. Good for you. Now... Muscular Dystrophy Association, you mentioned that we, you do some fundraising for them or you do. make a contribution to them? We do, yeah. We took them on as a partner uh, five or six years ago uh, with our Polar Blast. And uh, um, yeah, they're one of our benefactors, the Snowmobile Club and MDA. So they're with great. all the money from the event, you give it to a worthy cause like that. But you also have to pay for all, you know, the fireworks and all of those kind of things. Right. Why do you do Polar Blast if it's not actually a money maker as an event? Well, it's it's a uh, it's a great event for the town, and uh, like I said, the sponsors are a huge piece of this. We couldn't do it without them, and we do make some money for the Snowmobile Club. Right. But uh, the the idea of, of uh, Polar Blast was just to drive business into into the the area businesses in town. And all the businesses in Houston and Stratton, everybody cooks great food, so you can oh, go just yeah. about anywhere and know you're going to be well fed. If you're a foodie, there's some great stuff yeah. in, some our, amazing in our stuff. town. Yeah, north of the Access Road, there is life. Yeah, and they're, and they're all good cooks, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> From the Looney Moose to Flagstaff General to Sandy to, you know, Backstrap. right on up the line. Backstraps, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Copeland Dinner House. Trails yeah. End, yep. Uh, I mean, we've got it all up there. So, any other parting words while we've got you, Steve, um, Robin? Come on up. Next weekend. Next weekend. And the weekend after, and the whole rest of the season for snowmobiling. Well, Hopefully cross our fingers. Right, right. Oh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a great base, so we do get a little bit of snow. We'll be riding right through mid-April. How many miles does Arnold Trail Snowmobile Club groom? Oh, we groom about 170. Wow. Um, one direction. Right. Um, we've got, like Robin said, we've got two piston bullies and then two doobie groomers that we haul behind those, and uh, they groom 14 feet wide in one direction so and that takes serious cake to run those things too and never mind purchase them it does um, our grooming budget alone uh, last year was about one hundred and forty thousand. wow that's in gas and repairs yeah and, yeah well you know you got to pay your groomer drivers and, oh yeah that too yeah <laughs> that too. yeah they don't do 10 hour shifts for nothing <laughs> really <laughs> all night wow so so much involved but so much worth it and if you're not a snowmobiler go see tom and Lori. Hire a sled. They even have guided tours if you're a little bit nervous yes, about driving do. your own. And they're not the big gombi things they used to be. No, no they're, they're brand new skidoos. He's got yeah. a great fleet of uh, snowmobiles. We came by this morning. There was, uh, like Robin said, about 20 people getting ready to head out. Great. Good day for it. I think it's going to be. We're heading out again today. Well, thanks, you guys, for coming in nice and early. And uh, hope it's a good weekend for the Polar Blast and hope we get some snow for the whole rest of the winter. Fingers crossed. Cool. Thanks. Thank Stay with you. us. We'll be right back.